Okay, let's talk about material instances. For this demonstration, I will create simple primitive, uh, probably sphere. Okay, let's create material. Maybe let's call it PBR. Okay, so it's for physically based rendering. Double click to open it. Okay, so what I will create is maybe something shiny, like um, different color me metallic surface. So we want, we're holding three and clicking, we have vector three or color. So then we can call it our color. Maybe let's start with something gray. Then we have our metallic. So metallic, it's from zero to one. It's a scalar parameter, it's grayscale. So we don't need colors in there. So we're just holding S and click for the scalar parameter. Let's call it metallic. When we're creating parameter, you may notice here we have on the left side slider, slider minimum, slider maximum. This is useful thing when maybe you're creating for someone and you don't want this someone would go over the limit what you designed in your material. So, for example, as I said, metallic, same as specular, roughness, uh, let's say ambient occlusion, they work between 0 and 1. If you will go beyond, there is a chance, like, and if you're not having any, like, precautions there, like safety measures, and if you will go beyond, you may have, like, on your material artifacts, different colors and weirdness. So basically safety is it's put maximum and minimum. But if you're not putting minimum and you're putting maximum, it's automatically set, it should set minimum to zero. And default, uh, if because I want metallic, so I will put on one. Okay. So now look, it become now slider. And when I'm holding and sliding, I can only go between zero and one. Super useful. And this will be in material instance itself. So when someone will work with your material instance, they won't be able to go higher. Okay, so we're adding metallic. We can add specular. So default one is 0 0.5. Yes. Let's maybe put it like 0 0.15 more glossy and that's it ebon occlusion it's by default it's one um, you don't need to change it if you don't have your texture if you have texture so you can add the so now we can right click on our material and create material instance and now we can call maybe like metal and then like red, okay, drag and drop it, okay, now you see like it's shiny, and I called it red, so let's change it, come here, and it changes to red. And you can see like how different even color, slightly different in the color, and you can see like it may look better with specular. And plus it's not on a full value, so if we can crank it up or dim it down. Okay, so as you like. I will keep it as is. It's fine. And same with metallic. Okay, so maybe you won't play with this. Because it won't be super PBR then if you will start tweaking that. But if you like how it looks, why not? Okay. And look, we can even go lower with roughness. And now it's kind of like a red chrome. Okay. Specular, it adds more kind of like a glossiness, kind of like whiteness around. But with metallic and roughness on zero, you won't see much effect. As you can see here. So I can leave as is on default. 
and maybe put roughness really like small number sometimes when you're putting on a zero it's not working perfectly okay it's like this so it's simple we created one material instance we created one sphere what if i have how many maybe like four okay like this and i want all of them be metallic but different color you can create material instances from your master material like this but i will show why sometimes i'm creating material instances from the first instance it all depends and uh, it's not like a you must okay so i will create material instance from this and let's call it maybe green and now when i created this one i can duplicate it now by ctrl d with blue and one more hello okay so now we have red first one then we have green blue and yellow okay we don't we won't see any effect because we haven't changed color because the instances of the first one you see like they all by default become uh, red but if we double click on each let's open and uh, you can let's open red first and i will show so look if i will come here and i changing my color in my first instance you won't see any difference here but until you click ok and you see now they picked up so now it will go green let's call it green doesn't need to be perfect it's fine blue and yellow okay so really quickly we created this but why we need instance of the instance what if for example now we're deciding you know what this glossiness like colors are fine but glossiness too much and i want to change if you would have them all from material like instances of the material you would need to go in the four of them separately and changing what if like you have 20 of them right and now i know that red is my number one and if i will come here I can change you know what i want 0 0.5 and look they all straight away updating really quickly you can edit so i'm not editing their color but i can edit their for example roughness or disable metallic at all i make them like a plastic glossy plastic now so really quickly i changed type from metallic into plastic for four of them okay so that's why it's sometimes useful to have material instances of the material instance. And sometimes if you don't care about that, then you can just create material instance from the material. But keep in mind, always, always work with material instance. So hopefully this is understandable for you. And from now on, I hope you will know how to use material instances. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications about future videos. See you soon!